So The Ink Black Heart is the story of an investigation. Initially isn't a murder investigation. The agency is asked to uh, find out who an online persecutor is and they don't they turn the case down because they, they feel they don't really do cyber investigations of, of the type that would be necessary. Then of course it becomes a murder case, at which point they go in and they're dealing with aspects of modern life that they've never really talked about before and we've never really explored in the books before. So from that point of view, it was a really satisfying plot because it was something very different. I see this as a novel about disconnection and people feeling disconnected in real life and exploring what they find online as a way of connecting. I don't want to give too much away, but the, the central theme of the book is anime, which is a state of lacking normal social or moral uh, norms. And uh, so, yeah, it's really an exploration of that. It's a very sort of modern malaise, although the term anime has been around for a long, long time. And it really, the, the term arose through industrialization, people losing meaning in their daily lives and, and feeling that they themselves were um, not really part of society, not really part of a whole. So, yeah. It's a, very big, it's a big theme, but it's explored in a very sort of contemporary way. I've never created a book, and this book certainly isn't created from my own experience, you know, with a view to talking about my own life. That doesn't mean, of course, that your own life experience isn't in the book. You know, with this book, <laughs> I'd been planning this book for so long, and then a couple of the things that happen in this book have since happened to me. <laughs> and so I would like to be very clear that I haven't written this book as an answer to anything that happened to me. Although I have to say, when it did happen to me, those who had, who, who had already read the book um, in manuscript form were, are you clairvoyant? <laughs> no, I wasn't clairvoyant. I just, yeah, it was just one of those weird twists. Sometimes life imitates art more than one would like. But no, it's not, this, this isn't about my experience of, as being a creator, my experience, it, if I wrote about my experience as a creator, it would look very different. And I have to say, for example, uh, which I think would be a question readers would ask, the Potter fan fandom, by and large, has been amazing to me, incredibly supportive, and I still receive tons of love from uh, the Potter fandom. So the fandom in this book is very much not a portrait of the fandom. It's, a, it's of a very, I think, a very different kind of fandom. The reason I love writing those two characters so much is um, I love them both as, as characters and I love the friendship. I love writing, and of course I love writing the sexual tension, which I know is, <laughs> is a big deal for certain readers. But my feeling was always that each of them had quite a lot of um, changing and, and growing to do. Even Strike, who's 10 years older than Robin, you know, his, his past is an unusual one and it's left him with issues that I don't think he's ever really fully explored. And I feel that in books five and six, this being book six, you start to see him recognising some of this. He's still got a way to go. Equally, Robin, who's had, you know, not a particularly typical romantic history because of she has trauma in her past, in this book really does get to show quite what I think readers might find quite an unexpected side of her. So I love, I love the fact, to me it's a real friendship. They, do, they, rub, they can occasionally infuriate each other, um, but they are very complementary personalities, I think. And they, their shared endeavour is, is at the absolute root of what they value in each other and what they, I, I think now in this book, particularly at the end when something quite symbolic happens, you see that they recognise that they couldn't have done it without each other. And that's, you know, that's a, a wonderful feeling when you, when you have a shared endeavour with someone, and I empathise with that a lot.